Let's move on to plant number two, Fast Peaker. This is a 15 megawatt capacity power plant. It's a gas turbine. That's 15 megawatts of capacity. Uh, has an overnight cost of five million dollars, much lower initial capital cost, fixed monthly payment of thirty-three thousand two hundred sixty-five dollars over the course of our thirty-year loan, a uh, heat rate much higher than our baseload power plant. So the heat rate is fifteen million BTU per megawatt hour. So just shy of twice the heat rate of our baseload power plant. Preferred capacity factor or anticipated average capacity factor, 30%. The marginal cost for this plant is the fuel cost, um, which is 37.50 per megawatt hour. And each 1% capacity generates 108 megawatt hours of electricity. The long, the levelized cost of energy from this power plant, which is the long run average total cost at the anticipated 30% capacity factor is 47.90. So let's take a look at the graph for fast peaker. Here we have our average total cost curve and our variable cost curve, which is again the same as our marginal cost. We are anticipating running this plant 30% of the time, so it's only going to run at the highest demand periods of the year and so it's going to only going to run 30% of the time and at 30% capacity its average total cost is 47.90 All right uh, so its average total cost is much higher than the average total cost of our baseload power plant but when we need a plant that we can bring online really fast, ramp up and down with our renewables, we want to have a fast peaker available. It won't run that much of the time, but when it runs, it'll be super valuable.